So, I've hit a bit of a wall already. So my studio is a mess and I've reached that point of not being able to work in here and so I really need to clean up. I did have an offer from somebody to come in and help me actually which was really nice so thank you very much but I just need to get on with it today and um, yeah probably quicker and easier on my own. I'll get more done faster and then I can get back to making art and stuff. So if your studio or creative space is a mess as well you're definitely not alone. I'll show you the, um, the situation in a sec. You can probably see in the background quite a lot of it, but I'll give you a proper look in a minute, especially over here, which I think is where I'm gonna start. So I've been procrastinating this job for a few weeks now, and uh, yeah, it's time, it's time. So thanks for being here, because it helps give me an incentive to actually clean this mess up and uh, yeah, I hope you're okay out there, having a good week. I'm not too bad today. I did sleep okay last night after quite a few nights of not sleeping. So I feel a little bit more energy and a little bit more alive. So that's really nice. So I've got to utilize that energy and um, yeah, sort this stuff out. The only thing is really is where to start. Mm, and I think I'm gonna start behind you so I'll, I'll uh i'll give you a scan of the room to start with and show you what we're dealing with am i embarrassed to show you mm, maybe so let's just have a look what we're dealing with then on this workbench and it's not just the workbench that's bothering me it's kind of everything under there as well and the floor so over here i've got yeah, that's okay. Stack of canvases and um, paintings on the go, so that's fine. And then under there, some sort of storage boxes and baskets, so that's okay as well. It, it's more this area here. It's just been a dumping ground, really, as has, let's just go a bit closer, shall we? As has this area here, really. It's just become an absolute dumping ground. I've got jewellery on the go which has been going on since, gosh, December. And then, yeah, more jewellery, anything that I'm not using art materials wise, uh, plants that needed to be in the shade. And so this isn't really a workspace at the moment. And, and it's my main wet area, so it's, the, it's where I can get messy. And I've got, you know, paintings on the go that, yeah, I just can't see the wood for the trees, basically. So I do need to I think start here, I think that's my plan. Um, let's just scan you around the room then, shall we? So just going to the floor because yeah, this is basically we had a problem with some of our greetings cards. They reprinted um, a load for us. Yeah, these ones I think, I don't know if these are the rejects. I'll have to ask James because he sorted through them and he's kind of does all that stuff. So I'll ask him. Coming up here, this cupboard is not utilised properly. It should really be a, a really useful storage area for my art materials and I'm just not using it properly. It's just a dumping ground again. And then over here, I did actually move my art trolley, um, which normally lives where that box is. And that's kind of where I need my art trolley. But um, I've put it underneath the standing desk at the moment, which obviously means I can't lower the desk to sit down and work, which is you know not particularly ideal been having a little planning meeting with myself this morning so looking at my sort of my schedule for February and uh, just working out a few things and then planning my Patreon and stuff for next month and it's really nice to have a table that's you know away from all my creativity and water jars and art materials 
so that I know that my, my text stuff is kind of safe. And then this, this table sort of is kept clear really because that's where we pack orders for the shop as well as this table. So these tables are kept pretty clear. And then over here, I've still got my sewing machine out from last week where we did our sewing paper video. So if you've not seen that one yet, you could perhaps check that one out. I really enjoyed doing that and I was planning to do some more work in my journal today, but yeah, I just can't. It's just too much for me. It's too much overwhelm, too much stuff everywhere. So this is not too bad on the um, shelving. Um, James the Cardboard King has built the storage for all the um, shop postcards and mini prints and things like that. And these are two of my collage boxes down here, as well as this basket and the tray. There's also another collage box behind me in the area I've just shown you on the floor. And then what have we got up there? So the shelving is not too bad. It's kind of boxed and semi-organized but I've kind of tried to create a space here because I've got a lot of new greetings cards in and James wants to build some new cardboard storage so return of the cardboard king hopefully let's just see if I can show you hang on so yeah you can see all the greetings cards are currently under the table which isn't really ideal and then the the two suitcases that were living on the shelf where I'm hoping to have more storage for the cards there. They are now obviously down there so I need to deal with those as well. And then just pan the sort of art table for you. It's, it's, it's not too bad for me really but it, yeah it needs organising a little bit before I can actually sit down and do some artwork. I've been doing some um, fairies um, and some sketching for the, for the Patreon video so we're doing like a, a drawing date this week and that'll go up on Saturday. So that's going to be edited by James, so I need to give him the footage. But yeah, I've just been drawing a few fairies. And I really like, where is she? This one, this, the way this one's coming along. She's cute, I like that. Anyway, yeah, suffice to say, it's, yeah, it could be a little bit more organised without being super tidy. Because if you've been here before, you know I'm pretty messy when I get creative and I don't particularly love working in a tidy space but um, yeah that's too much over there now so it will be really nice to use that area again. So I've hit a bit of a wall already because I've got to that thing where the hardest thing about tidying up and decluttering is the decisions, isn't it? And I found all these old paints and um, they're not very good quality, basically. And so I don't use them. So I'm thinking of just taking them to the charity shop and letting them go. I can't see me needing them and I haven't used them for probably well over a year. So, because I invested in a load of nice quality emergency vehicle, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've just um, taken a break, if you like, and um, realised that I'm not really um, getting much done. So I need to make a decision on these and then probably let them go. And then I think I'm going to concentrate on my art supplies and um, I don't want to put everything away over there on the table, but I do want to just sort of make sure I've got a little bit of a tidier situation if you like and then the things that can go away that save easy access on on the art trolley um, that might help me out a lot as well and I don't think I'm utilizing the bottom shelf properly because I've only got like things that big and I've got that much space so maybe I have a box or something under there that holds a bit more and then I can use it like a drawer 
don't know. Anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. So let's keep going. It's feeling better already. It always does, doesn't it? You shift a few things around and shift the energy. So I'm getting on okay. I wouldn't say I'm doing, you know, a 10 out of 10 job here, but I'm really kind of attacking the first layers, if you like. And I'm thinking I am going for ease. So I haven't set up the area over there yet. Um, I've just put my painting sketchbooks, if you like. So I'm trying to sort out all my notebooks, journals, sketchbooks, and that kind of thing. And so the ones I'm painting in, I kind of thought, right, just put those over, the, over there where the wet area is. And then here, I've realized I've got this basket here that's really good for storing journals. Yeah, so it's amazingly good at sort of storing the journals that I'm using, but I've realized I'm not really using many of those journals. I'm kind of more using these. Um, oh, and as well as my my handmade one over there. So why am I storing prime location area on my desk, those, when those ones really should be living over on the shelf? So I'm gonna have a little rejig, I think, with my journals, just so that I've got everything that I actually need and use, and I'm using in this current time with, you know, easy access, rather than having a pile of stuff there, and then, those ones that I'm not really using. So let's just have a look, shall we? Let's, um, let's spring into action. I'm not using those two anymore, so they can go. My altered book, mm, I might still use that. Maybe that one. Um, I'm not using that one. That's kind of an empty one, and that's my freedom journal so I'm not really using that either so yeah all of those do not need to be on my table so yeah let's get rid of those right so let's see shall we kind of wanting to do things with this this is kind of what I'm looking at with my fairies at the minute so I'll leave her out and then I've got my handmade journal. These are sort of notes. That's ephemera, so that shouldn't be in there. Notepads are quite good, I suppose. What else have we got? So I've got kind of like a sketchbook um, where the pages just come out. So that, that's a nice paper, the moleskin sketchbook. And I have a Sea Whites of Brighton kind of sketchbook as well. I've been doing a little bit of journaling in. And then I've got a new composition notebook for writing. And then this one, which is my main writing journal. So really those and that one, those three are the ones I've been using most. And then I can pop the little mini journals just sort of down the side. And those can go down there. Much better. Okay, so now I feel like I'm getting somewhere. So I don't want to do that thing where I start twiddling and moving things around and that kind of thing. So I've kind of left things as I was using them because I think it's always easier to organise your stuff once you've actually had a play and you know kind of where you want things and things like that. So, for example, I'm left-handed, so I always like to have my palette left of me, if you see what I mean, and my, my jars of water, if that makes sense. So, the ergonomics of the space, if you like. Yeah, because I don't want to be reaching across my body to mix paint. I need to do it here and then put it on the paint, so it's much more economical with time and movement. Yes, that's what I mean. 
So I didn't want to put everything away because I could have put all the paints in the wooden box that I've just emptied with the paints that weren't very good quality. I could have put everything away, but I don't want to do that because I'm in the middle of painting. And now I've tidied up the wet area, I'm thinking probably most of that's going to sort of transition over there naturally as I take my wet work over there rather than over here. Yeah, so we'll see how that evolves in the space. And I think that's the useful thing. I always remember years ago setting up, when I was pregnant, my daughter's room. And I remember sort of pack unpacking all the clothes and little bits and bobs I had and the creams and nappies and that kind of thing. And I organised it really nicely so that it looked really aesthetic. And then when my daughter was born, I realised everything was in the wrong place for it to be quick and easy access. And so I kind of learned then that it's much easier to organise your space when you're actually playing in it and using it for what it's, what it's for. And so yes, I like to have my paints out and then I can come in and paint. So I've got my palette ready, which again, all that wet stuff might transition over there. And then this could be the art journaling table, which was the original idea. So we'll see. But I'm not going to set that up now. I'm going to see how I, how I feel next week when I come in as well. So there's a couple of things that I want to address that are annoying me. And I'm just going to sort of stack and put, put away and things like that. And then I shall do a quick scan and see if there's any other bits and bobs that are really looking a mess that I could neaten up. And then I think I'm going to leave it there, water the plant babies and um, yeah, leave it there for today. So maybe I've inspired you a bit to tidy up your own space. And I know some of you say to me that you're also very messy and that you don't have a designated area and it's really difficult because then you've got to get everything out at the beginning of your creative session and then put it away at the end. And oftentimes, and I remember this from living in the van for many years, I couldn't be bothered and so it ended up that I didn't create at all and so I say to you if that's you make sure you have a really easy small simple kit which might some days be a sketchbook and a pencil or a sketchbook and a pastel or something like that and that might be it or you might have now I've shown all this in my mini art kit when I went um, on little trips this summer and I put together a little travel art kit and so I've got things like these water brushes in here. So it's a really tiny, tiny kit and I don't even need a jar of water for those. And then, you know, you take your watercolours with you and your, and your sketchbook and you, and you set up. So you can have a really teeny tiny kit for those days that you want to create and you want to get into a regular practice, but you can't bother to get everything out. And then that way, you don't have these massive breaks where you're not creating because you can't be bothered to get your stuff out. You've at least done a little something, a little doodle or a little sketch in the corner of your sketchbook, if that makes sense. And then, you know, when you do feel like getting all your stuff out, one of the things I think is really useful is to have trays. And so that's where I utilise, you know, packaging boxes. I reuse things that can be trays. And then I've immediately got a group of stuff that could be everywhere in a much more controlled, organised situation. And I've still got easy access to everything as well because I haven't put it all away, you know, on the art trolley and things like that. So I think trays can be really useful. And when I lived in the, in the van, I used to have a really big tray and I'd put all my pens and pencils and paints and stuff on there. And I could work at the dining table in the van, but then when it was time to eat, there wasn't another table and there wasn't anywhere to put my stuff. So I'd just take the tray and I could take it all together and just slide it under the bed. And then when we were in travel mode, I used to put things away in a, in a, in a better way. So it wasn't just going to rattle and wobble and, and fall about everywhere as the van was moving, if you know what I mean. Everything got everywhere in the van. And it's really hard to keep a small space tidy. And so I know I'm really, really lucky to have this room and have all this space. But I think sometimes the more room you have, the more stuff you collect, and then the more mess you create. And yeah, you really need to keep on top of it. Well, I do anyway. I mean, if I, if I want to take something home, I will grab, say, my sketchbook and then this little pencil case and this has got all my drawing things in it and then sometimes I don't even take that I take my sketchbook and I have my mechanical pencil with me anyway so 
and that's my kit. I don't take all this home because that would just be really annoying. Anyway, I'm procrastinating again, so get back to it. So I've had this um, folder for years and years and years, probably, uh, yeah, since I was a teenager. And it's really useful for storing all my postcard collection that I've um, collated over the years. Love that. So yeah, it's a bit fat now, but um, at least the postcards are away and they're not getting all dusty. And then they can live on the shelf all organized. So that's really useful. I could do with a giant one of these actually to um, store my all, all my um, ephemera and things like that because you can really sort of root through quite quickly. But anyway, I'm winning, I'm getting there. So I'm just going to, let's see, I've got to deal with this table because James is going to want to pack orders tomorrow and uh, he's going to tell me off if, um, if all that's, oh, it's not very straight, is it? Yeah, he's, um, He's not going to be able to pack orders unless I clear that and then he'll get grumpy. And I can't do a lot with the stuff on the floor over there because I'm not sure whether it's the good stock or the bad stock and there's a load of packaging and I don't know whether he wants that either. So yeah, I think that is probably my last job. So I thought I'd um, show you my art trolley quickly as well, just to show you how I've organised it, um, in case you were wondering. And um, yeah, I've basically got the same things I had on the top um, as I had before, and I've just put a lot of my inks away, because they're really handy to just grab anyway from the top of the trolley. And then I've got my kind of mini art kit here, my gold stuff, my matte mediums and varnishes and all sorts of stuff, and if you can see on top here and then the next shelf down I've got all my papers and here I've got kind of like source material so I've got you know things like that that I'm drawing as you know source material basically and then I've got palettes as well so I've got some glass palettes and some paper palettes there but I'm currently really enjoying the grey paper palette that I bought and then on the bottom I've got the trays that I talked about so I've got a couple of trays on here that I've, of things I'm actually using right now I haven't put them away and then I've got other little trays here I've got my Caran d'Ache crayons here Luminance pencils really lovely and then pretty much my little trays will go on top and then here I've got all my graphite, again utilising little trays to make it really easy to use. And then underneath there I've got my Curiate watercolours, which I don't use very often anymore, but I'm going to keep hold of. And also some gouache little tubes of kind of the pretty budget range, um, and I sometimes use them in my art journal. So, so that's a little trolley tour, if you like. And this trolley is amazing. And then any rags that I've got that are wet, I can just hang on the end. James put some hooks on for me. Yeah, I might get another one one day if I, um, if I ever get a bigger room and then I'll have room for it. We'll straighten you up a little bit. This is what my table's looking like. So I've got my current fairy project going on and I've put my paint sort of in color combinations. And, and then I've got, yeah, everything sort of neat and tidy but not put away. So I've got the brushes I've been using still out and the colours I've been using still out and the inks I've been using still out. So I haven't got to get everything out, which is such a luxury, I know. And then I've tidied up all my jewellery for now. I've utilised one of those little trays at the bottom and put everything together so that it's not actually over there and I can actually use my wet area when I need to next. On this end of so, the table I've got my paints, so I've got kind of a box that organises some of the colours and things like that, and then obviously the ones I'm using are out, because that's really handy. And then I've got, I can move these really, really easily if I want to do some, some wet works, so I've got like a, a grey palette pad there, and then if I'm not doing wet work, I can 
yeah, use my that little space for um, pencils. And then just at the end here, I've got kind of my watercolours that I've been using. There's a few journaling bits. And there's sort of a tray and a bag with all my ephemera that I've been using in my art journals, which are now safely stashed over there. So it's so much easier to actually come in and, and do some work. So I'm really looking forward to coming in tomorrow now and getting on with something. So I wasn't actually expecting to get as much done as I've actually got done today. So I'm quite pleased. And, you know, it's always going to be a work in progress. There's never going to be everything put away and things like that. But it just means that I can actually come in and use that area, which I haven't used since before Christmas. So that's going to be a real treat. <laughs> So I better go because I've got a few bits and bobs to get from the supermarket and also I've got some things to do tonight, a little bit of work and, and thanks for helping me tidy up and keeping me company because it, it doesn't happen quite as fast as it looks like on the video does it? I wish. <laughs> so try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mwah. the curse.